Hey there, Beluga here. Welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time, we saw Gernika almost get crushed by the big red Mechon, so we charged in to save him. The Agnes healer hesitated for a moment, but joined the rest of us in the attack. We fight the guy, and we see some actual teamwork happening between the Kevis and Agnes members. Not without attitude, however. Meanwhile, Guernica gets back up and goes over to the big glowy egg and starts beating on it to make it work. After the egg hatches, he pushes something down which knocks the souls out of everyone's bodies. Noah's eyes glow with a blue ring and then he's able to see into Mio's, the Agnes Chakram's tank's, memories. The same happens with Mio with Noah's memories, but her opposite eye is the one glowing. Then they somehow combine into a form of mechon of their own, but like... Where did their bodies go? Apparently this is something called an interlink, but the form we took is called Ouroboros, and the red mechon guy is called a Mobius. We move super slow, but we still deal some good damage, but this Mobius decides to leave before we even finish it off, and it leaves us with a parting Batman infinity symbol in the sky. We see other Mobius noticing the symbol, and this guy says now the whole world is our enemy. Noah and Mio transform back into themselves and the Ouroboros form just disappears. Everyone realizes for the first time that Guernica's skin is wrinkled and then that he's actually aged past 10 years old. Guernica's long-winded dying breaths end with him saying to find a place called Sword March. He turns into the glowy particles and Noah and Mio play their off-seeing tunes together in the most beautiful music I've ever heard. After the sweet moment, the two teams start an argument, to which Noah stands up for the Agnes, stating that he was able to see Mio's memories and that both sides are to blame. The two teams go their separate ways, and that's where we start off. It's the enemy. The enemy's approaching. Our sworn enemy. Hey, you okay? Huh? I mean, you and the Agni and Offseer transformed into that weird thing. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, that didn't seem to do any damage or anything. Hey, Uni. Go ahead and take point looking for hostiles, will you? Until we make it back to Colony 9. Gotcha. Lands, that's not really necessary. You're the most depleted out of the lot of us, mate. It's a long way to call you nine. If you want to make it back in one piece, you'll need to be careful. Much fighting on way back, probably. Yeah, you've got a point. So, we done? Can we head on? Ooh! We get to control a different player. Uni takes the healer role and her class is Medic, Gunner. Healer plays an extremely important role as they can restore hit points, revive incapacitated allies, and provide various other means of support. Using arts that place field effects on the battlefield will cause the talent art icon to flash green, and your talent art gauge will charge up a lot. Actions that support your allies, such as applying buffs, removing debuffs, or erasing fallen allies, also count as roll actions, charging your talent gauge bit by bit. By gaining the power of Ouroboros, the party were freed from their shackles of the flame clock. Wonder what that means for the party. Are you alright, Noah? I'm fine. I just... I'm not sure how to feel, that's all. Yeah, this is kind of like a sad walk back and like confusing as well. <sighs> Riku's so sleepy. Could do with long soak and bath. 
Oh, to be a carefree knock on. Just hold out. Where were you during that whole battle? We'll be back soon. Oh. Look! Friendlies! Hey! It's me! They don't look so Lies friendly. Cut it out! We're your friends here from Colony 9! They're not listening, Lance! The spark! Don't they recognize us? No, or they uh, do uh, recognize us and uh, don't care. Noah! We'll just have to fight back. Fight back? You're crazy! Just don't kill them. Oh, is that all? Easier yeah, do we have non lethal done. damage? Wine later. It's time! Ooh, I definitely heard help me in there. Maybe they are? Help me. Maybe they don't recognize us. Maybe they're... Hypnotized or something? Controlled somehow? Maybe it has to do with the flame clock thingy in their eye, the techno the eye. Side. They keep coming, Noah! Did that signal do more than just signal? The world out. Enemy. Huh? What was that? If we get any closer to Colony 9, we're just going to end up getting surrounded. We've no choice. We're gonna have to head back! We made our way all the way here, and we have to go all the way back. <laughs> and it looks like they're having the same problem, too. It definitely has to do with their eye thing. How are they so good at finding us? What's going on here? Tie on. I... That light... Is that...? What is it? I'll explain later. Right now we need to focus on getting out of here. Melnath's shoulder. <gasps> we get to play as this group. I get to use my chakrams. Mia takes the defender role and her class is Zephyr. Defenders draw an enemy's aggro toward themselves to prevent their allies from being attacked. Use guard and evasion arts to reduce the damage you take. Whenever you draw enemy attention to yourself, your talent art icon will flash blue and your talent art gauge will charge up a lot. Actions which interfere with enemy attacks, like blocking, evading, or interrupting them with, in with reactions, also count as roll actions, charging your talent gauge bit by bit. Alright. Let's do this. So I think what I was doing, or what I didn't realize I had to do at uni, is every time that There's gauge no load green, even though it wasn't full. Roger. And what that's a moment. 
Uh, yeah, even though the gauge wasn't full, I should have still pressed it when it glowed. Oh no! Guess they knew we'd come here. You're the ones that raided the colony! I ain't letting you get away. We did what now? Oh! Someone having real bad mood. But why? It's like nobody recognizes us. As of this moment, the point is moot. Clearly we ought to prioritize our physical safety. But... Senna, come on. You don't want to get slaughtered by our allies, do you? I don't get it at all. But we can't go back to Colony Gamma with things like this. Tyon, is there somewhere we can hide out? I suppose where we bade farewell to our new friends might do. Understood. Let's try to slow him down at most. Exactly my thoughts. <laughs> at least I think that was a sob? Was that sobby enough for you all? Uh, hi, Agro. Oh. Accumulating aggro will draw an enemy's attention toward you. Using strong attacks and healing arts will accumulate a lot of aggro, so keep that in mind. If an ally is under attack and at risk of becoming incapacitated, a good tactic is to accumulate aggro toward yourself so they can continue fighting. To show you which of your characters are being attacked by enemies, a red or blue thread will connect the enemy and the character they are attacking. The targeting line. When the character is an attacker or a healer, the line is red. Unlike defenders, defense isn't their strong suit, so it's your cue to be careful. A blue line indicates the enemy's target is a defender. Defenders specialize in taking enemy attention and attack, so they should do just fine in this situation. I kind of want to know what their thought is for a Chakram fighter being the defender and how that works. Neil, get the enemy Classes from Kevis and Agnes recharge their art gauges in different ways. Kevesi classes art gauge fill over time. Agnian classes art gauge fill by auto attacking. Noah's team belongs to Kevis and Mio's to Agnes. Um, so in uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1, it actually filled by by one of those, I don't remember which. And then, um, I wanna say it was by auto attacking, but I could be getting that confused because Agnes is more based on uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, whereas Confessi is more uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1. But I thought in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 it was filled by auto attacking, but it could have been over time. Um, but yeah, that's cool the how they put both of those in the same game. For Agnian classes, canceling auto attacks into arts will boost the recharge quicker. Use this to your advantage. Beautiful job, beautiful job. I have a feeling I do not make a great tank, guys. Ah, oh, shit. So we deal with this. I was kind of hoping oh, not to. Ever the paragon, Mia. We should move right away. Well, you got the blood pump, but at least. Alrighty. Oh, there's a container there, but I don't want to fight more than necessary. I will remember that. Alright, this is going to definitely get a little bit hairy. I'd rather fight these wolves. There's so much stuff here. Um, but I would like to pick up this Mimi, person. Are you gonna be alright?
I see that container taunting me over there. I will come back for it. Which is not I'm okay. Now. It weeded out, but fine. Alright, slowly but surely getting better. Uh we're gonna have to jump. <sighs> we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Hey, this is Beluga. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, please drop a like and a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel for more content.